Hello, this is Mike, and welcome to video 16 on PHP programming. And today we're entering into lesson 2 of our PHP uh, 5 lessons by Mike Lively. And we're going to look at control logic and functions, and specifically in video 16, we're actually going to look at the if statement, else if, and else statement. So let's go to our PHP Eclipse and get started. So I'm in PHP Eclipse, and you can look down here and see that I've started a new lesson 2, and I have right now have video 16. 17 and 18, we're going to look at video 16, the code for that. So click on that. So what I'm doing, I'm making sure that the code corresponds to the video that I'm talking about. And we're actually going to look at if statements. Now, if statements are a way to tell if something occurred. And if it did, then you execute some code. Let's look at a little write-up here. So the way an if statement is structured is that you have an expression, and if that expression is true, it's like a Boolean, true or false, then you execute the statement following it. And there's basically a three brands we're going to look at today. We're going to look at if, if else, which I use a lot, and if else if, and uh, see how those are built. So let's look at the code again. So the first thing I want to do is just take two uh, variables like a and b, so let a equal 5 and b equal 3, and I want to compare them. I'm actually just going to put those in a greater than uh, comparison. So I have if a is greater than b, echo a is larger than b and that's all you do and so let's go ahead and run the code and see what happens in this case a is greater than b so let's run it and go ahead and browse to the particular program that you're working with in this case we're working with program 16 click on that hit apply and run bring it up so you can see it let's hit the run button and i just ran it and so in this case a was larger than b but what if a was not larger than b let's go back and change that and we'll change a to 2 and now A is not larger than B. What happens? Let's run the program. Essentially, nothing is printed out. You just don't have anything. So just keep aware that uh, you need to have something to say, what was it? And the way to do that is actually to use an else statement. So let's take a look at that now. So I'm going to go back and I'm say, well, it wasn't greater than that, was it? So if it wasn't greater than that, let's just put a little else statement there, else and I like to copy and paste a lot and I'll just grab this echo statement control C for copy control V for paste so let's paste that in right here control V there we go and A is smaller or less than B so what's going to happen in this particular case we've changed A so it's less than B so it's going to go through here and look at the first piece of code and say is that true and if it's not it's going to execute the second piece of code so let's run this and see what we get so I'll save and run. And there you go. A is less than B. So if elf statements are very powerful. Sometimes I use the if statement, but mostly I'm using if else. And there's another thing. Maybe you have three conditions. Maybe not you're not just looking at if something is greater than or less than, but maybe equal to. So if you have three conditions, you can actually use the else if statement. Let me close this up a little bit and bring this here so we can actually look at it. So let's page down just a little bit here to our else if example. So I have three conditions here. Actually, I have if A is greater than B, if A is equal to B, and if A is less than B. So uh, I need like ability to extend the else statement. So I can actually use the else if, and I can add these as many as I want. I could have like hundreds of these concatenated together. That's not the best way to code. You want to use something else called a switch statement. We'll talk about that next time. But what I'm going to use is just test this right here. I'm going to go ahead and comment out the stuff above. So in this particular case, we see that A is larger than B. So when I run this code, I could, should get A is larger than B. Let's go ahead and run it. And we see that A is indeed larger than B. Now let's change some of our parameters. In this case, let's A equal to B. So we'll put 3 in there. So what it's going to do, it's going to go to the first statement, is that true? And if not, it's going to skip to the next statement, else if, and check if that's true. If it is, it should print out that A is equal to B right there. In this case, it should. Let's go ahead and run that. And it does print A is equal to B. Let's have one more case here. And that's the case where A is less than B, so that would be 2. So what the code is going to do now with the else if statement is going to do first is first check to see if A is greater than B. And if it is, it prints out A is greater than B. But if not, checks if it's equal. And if it is, it prints equal. And there's only one more condition. It can be less. So it goes to the else statement. So if it's not greater than, if it's not equal then, then it must be what? A is not larger than B, or we could actually change that to A is less than B, All right? Let's run the code and see if it works. 
and a is less than b and it's just that simple so it's not difficult to program if else if and else statements we'll be using these extensively because this is your ability to make decisions using this code so get used to them okay I'd like to take a look at one more example and that basically is the ability in your uh, conditional statement you can use a, a greater than or a less than or equals to now equals to uses double equal sign because the single equal sign is the assignment operator you don't want to sign you want to compare you can also use greater than or equal to, less than or equal to, all very useful. I use them all. And here's one that's really useful, not equal to. So here I've created a little example here, and I just created a variable, and it's a Boolean. I said it's hungry. So if I'm hungry, I'm true, and if I'm not hungry, it's false. So in this particular case, what it's going to do, the Boolean checks to see if you're not hungry. And so if you're not hungry, you should echo, I'm not hungry. Else, you should, you should echo, I'm hungry. So let's go ahead and uh, do this real quick. Let's run the code and see what happens. And out comes, I'm hungry. <laughs> I'm really hungry. So uh, pretty much this not statement can save you a lot of coding because the other way, I'd have to come along here and say, does code hungry uh, e not equal true? So by using that little not symbol in front, you see it saves me a little bit of time in my coding. And you will be using these conditional statements throughout our series. And <laughs> believe me, you'll, they'll become your best friend. So uh, thanks for listening. This was Mike Lively. Let me review what we went over. Today we just took a look at the if statement and we showed you how to add an else to it. After that we came along here and said hey what if there was another condition and we told you about the else if uh, statement. And after that we talked about the fact that you can actually add different uh, conditionals within a uh, expression for that if statement. And we tried out uh, uh, using the not for your boolean. So the uh, the actually exclamation point nots whatever you uh, put in there and actually save you a line of code. The other way to write this would just basically equals or not equals true. And you can see you actually save yourself a little bit of typing by uh, just using the not sign in front of hungry. And we'll be using that in a lot of code that we write in the future. So uh, thanks for listening. This is Mike Lively and we're going to start next time with logical expressions.